Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about drawing out of an ampule. An ampule is something that's enclosed completely in glass, and so we need to make sure that we get all the medication down from the head of the ampule down into the body of the ampule. You can do that by tapping, or you can do it by gently swirling it. Just make sure that you don't hit it on anything. Once all the medication is down at the bottom, the next thing we're going to do is the same things we did for everything else. We're going to check our physician's order to the MAR, to the medication, to see how much we need to draw up. In this case, we're going to use DDAVP. We need two mics. This is four mics per ml, so we're going to be drawing up one half of one ml for the dose that we need. The next thing we need to do is we need to break off the head of the ampule, and we're going to do that by ripping off the top of the alcohol wipe. We're going to puff it out a little bit, put it over the ampule, we're going to put our thumbs together, and we're going to break it away from us like that. Now the glass is in there, which we'll need to go in the sharps container later, so we'll set that on the side, and now my drug is ready. The next thing I need to do is I need to get my syringe ready, and the most important thing when you're doing an ampule drug is that you need to make sure that you're going to change into the filter needle. The filter needle will filter out any glass particles that are in the ampule from when we broke off the head of the ampule. So what I'm going to do is I need to sterilely take off the administration needle and put on the filter needle. And I'm going to put my administration needle in the sterile packaging of the syringe. Now, Different than the vial, I do not need to draw up any air into here because there is no atmospheric pressure to equalize. You can draw out of a vial, to, or an ampule, excuse me, two ways. You can insert the filter needle in and draw up like this, or the second way that you can do it is you can invert the ampule and you can insert the needle up into the fluid and draw backwards down in. Now we need 0.5 mLs, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up a little extra. Because of the size of the needle, there will be a big air bubble in this. I'm going to get all the air up to the top. I'm going to clear it out the top. And once I have all the air out, and I watch for a drip to come out the top, then the next thing I can do is I can insert it back into the ampule like this and get rid of the extra. Or I can go over packaging like this, and I can get rid of the extra medication. So once I have the dose that I need, I now need to change my filter needle back to my administration needle now that I'm ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the filter needle, I always put it back in my sterile packaging in case I need to um, drop any additional. I make sure I keep the hub of the needle sterile of my administration needle. I put it on there, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I still have 0.5 mLs, go back to my MAR, and that I still have 0.5 mLs as that's what I need to the drug that I drew up. And I have that, and now I'm ready to administer the drug.